Welcome back to Not Your Mama's History. I'm not your mammy, but I am Miss Cheney. Today is The Dress Address. Today we're doing The Dress Address. Now, this is a new series in which I take a deeper dive into some of the dresses that you all have been asking about on my social media. And of course, the first one is going to be my denim sack back dress. Now, most of my dresses that I design start with me just drawing out the design and what I really want it to look like. I knew that I wanted there to be a lot of texture in the robings. I knew that I wanted a S, a braided S down the stomacher, um, a lot of flare in the, um, on the sleeve, and of course trim everywhere. <laughs> um, but really, um, when I go to Jana, uh, who is the dressmaker and my uh, collaborator, I usually just bring her the drawing and my ideas of what I want and together we look at what is possible. And she definitely said, this dress is possible and we're gonna make it happen. And so we went together to Mood Fabrics. Mood Fabrics is just a place where you can get any and everything, any and every type of fabric you ever wanted. And I was looking for something very specific. Because I had based the dress off of a, a sack back in the Colonial Williamsburg collection, which I will link down below. It's a beautiful, I think it's either yellow or cream uh, silk. So I wanted it to be very similar in weight. And so we wanted a very lightweight denim. So we needed a cotton that red is denim. And we also decided that we wanted something with a sheen to it, some type of sheen. And we were there for a while, and the poor gentleman who was at uh, Mood, we kind of ran him ragged, but eventually we found exactly what we were looking for. It was the perfect weight. Now, some of the trim, I think the braiding was actually uh, from recycled from another dress. And then, of course, the robings were self-fabric. We started planning it seven months out, but two months before was when she actually started the dress. And uh, she cut it out. She has my 18th century gowns down to a science because we made a few as of now. So she really knows how things sit on me and where she needs to cut it. and it, We've just gotten it down to a science. So I think we had two fittings for this one. I think I cried the, during the second fitting when she pulled it out and it was just, it was just so beautiful. It just, I felt really beautiful. Uh, I loved every part of it. And during the second fitting, that was when we also decided to, that's when we did the trim together or okay, I kind of helped her do the trim and Jana was actually doing the trim. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jana. Without her, I would not have been able to bring my vision to life. It's, it's, she just works with me whenever I bring to her really crazy ideas. She says, yeah, let's do that. So I wore it to um, the antiquarian dinner that was put on by Dandy Wellington. Um, and Hendrix Gin. And if you want to check out um, the delicious cocktail that they made specifically for me, please go check that out on my Instagram, Not Your Mama's History. Uh, please remember to follow us there as well. I felt very magical. Um, we got dressed, we spent time at my parents' house getting dressed. I want to give a shout out to Jason Short who did the did my hair and makeup on the day. Just beautiful as always. And I want to give I also want to give a shout out to Bahia Parish, who was the person who did my twist out. Um, a lot of people did ask me um, how I got my hair that big. They were clipping. So um, we had a great time getting ready. We had some cocktails beforehand. 
And then I was off to the antiquarian dinner and had a great time. Everyone there told me that it, my dress belonged at the Met Gala. Uh, and I, it looks like I followed the instructions for the Met Gala. So of course we had to have a photo shoot at the Met. Um, so D Jerome and I went to the Met and Jerome took pictures of me just walking around, going up and down the stairs. I, it was a bit stressful just because there were so many people there, but I did have fun. So I hope you all enjoy this. There were two distinct influences in this dress. First were the female rappers I grew up with. Trina, Missy Elliott, Lauryn Hill, Queen Latifah, Lil' Kim, and Eve. I loved their style, their swagger, the way they moved, their sound. In a future world where rap and opera mixed, I wanted to design a dress that would be fit only for a rap opera diva. Second, this dress was inspired by Haitian women then and now, always strong and always serving those around them. Though the style of this dress was distinctly French, I always want to remember those who made dresses like this and most certainly influenced aspects of this style with no credit. Both I and Not Your Mama's history have been forever shaped by strong, beautiful, and persistent Haitian women. This dress is dedicated to Mrs. Madone Pierre. Please let me know what you all thought about the dress. Do you think that it belonged at this year's Met Gala? Tell them to call me, call me for next year's Met Gala because I promise I will follow directions. Now, thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Special thanks to our Patreons who continue to support us and make all these things possible. I got very teary-eyed uh, just because I never thought that I would be wearing such a beautiful dress. Um, I always thought that when I do living history or historically inspired dresses, I would always be wearing, you know, working clothes. Um, the clothes of my ancestors, of enslaved persons, of free working people. But I, I really enjoyed this dress and I felt, I felt very beautiful and I felt like a queen. So um, thank you all for making that possible. I also want you all to, you know, put down, um, if you all want to see another dress on Dress a Dress, let me know which one and I could do a deep dive on it. Thank you so much. Please remember to like us and subscribe. Mm -hmm.